She swings round high over the central valley of California. She'll across the coastal Sierras now, okay, well over dry land. That's a silent spacecraft, no engines. Just a rush of air. No one has ever seen a glider like that before. <laughs> Well, the weather this California morning must be particularly good. Those are pictures uh, no one in this end thought we'd see. Slightly high, but uh, dropping certainly towards the runway. Desperately trying to lose speed, I imagine. Uh, Jeffrey, we were talking about roll reversal a minute or two ago. Will she still be trying to bank? Yes, one of the techniques of a glider when you have no engines is to uh, widen your track, and that means banking quite a bit to port and then back to starboard, and that's how you can vary the distance. Of course, she may not have vengeance. She does have speed brakes on board. Yes, the fin at the, bow, uh, at, at the back does, in fact, split at the back side on the rudder, and uh, it becomes an air brake as well as a rudder. Yes, it's low for spacecraft, but uh, it's about Concorde cruising height. The pictures we hear coming from Dryden itself. This is 20 degrees flat path. That's uh, about seven times the descent rate of a civil airliner. Just under 30 miles to touchdown. No sign of any problem. Everything looking good. Even less well, you're approaching the hack now. Right on the money. Well, things sound remarkably calm, but one can't help feeling that NASA is uh, human and there are men in there sensing they're only minutes away from a major space success. From here in Britain, the pictures look stunning. I wonder how they look from uh, Dryden itself, where Kieran Prendeville hopefully is waiting to tell us how things are looking in California. How does it look, Kieran? A little, yes. Well, there must be about 100,000 people out here all anxiously scanning the skies looking for Columbia. We've just heard a sonic boom. We expect to hear another one yet. Well, Columbia's performing well, but Kieran isn't, or at least the links between us are not performing. Trying to reach Kieran Prendeville. Manual control still by Commander Young. That's one of the ch chase aircraft with cameras. They have several aircraft up just to uh, look out, and of course, that's now looking at an uh, incredible shot of the shuttle. So she's made a, the sweep from uh, east of the airfield and is now making her approach, uh, presumably in a westerly direction, Jeffrey. 15 to 20,000 feet coming in from the west. Coming down quite steeply. We don't, know, we don't have... Notice the very, very nose-down attitude. Chase aircraft underneath. So, by our estimation, we're two minutes from touchdown. Things have uh, been on schedule, or just. 
She approaches Dryden. At this time, it's likely that Young and Crippen will be aiming short of the runway to actually increase speed to give them control in the final stages. They do want to have plenty of lift. And don't forget, they only have one chance at this. They raise the nose too early, they'll stall and fall short. If they raise it too late, they've missed anyway. 20 degrees, nose down. Then they'll pick it up to about three and a half degrees. On the final approach, up to three and a half. Well, there it is. They've got five miles. Twenty-two seconds ahead from of them. Touchdown. The crew below the landing gear. Very. Right. They're coming. Go down. Fifty feet. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Stand. Five. Well, Jeffrey Pardo checked his watch. Was she on schedule? Yes. <laughs> what an amazing picture. Ah, oh, that's terrific. Welcome home, Columbia. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't see any tiles missing. Oh, she seems rem in remarkable shape. Rolling gently. Do I have to take out the hanger, Joe? The return of man's first reusable We're spacecraft. To and the crew applied the brakes. That's the one thing the computer doesn't do. Either. So if you're stationary, oh, that's so the air brake just closing at the back, the fin closing the air brake. The big V at the back. Right. So, Columbia is safely on the ground and safely waiting to talk to us, I hope, is Kieran. Can you hear us, Kieran? Hello, this is Kieran from uh, Dryden. Kieran, go ahead. Great excitement at this end. Hello, Mike. Well, I can't tell you how fabulous I was to see it from here. It really was tremendous. We have something like 100,000 people squatting around the desert lake bed here at Mojave. And 100,000 people started chaffing and clearing the reporters amongst them. It really was a fabulous sight. I think if there wasn't a ban on booze here at the airport today, this place would be awash with champagne now. Now, we shan't see the astronauts climb out of the orbiter for quite some time yet, because, of course, they have to make it safe. Convoy is proceeding towards uh, Columbia this time. The fuel which fuel the orbiter gives off uh, a rather dangerous gas called hydrazine, and they want to make quite sure that there is none inside. Accidental exposure to hydrazine, by the way, according to NASA, could ruin your whole day or cancel it entirely, they say. Now comes to a complete stop, and these safing vehicles should be up against it very soon.